Hey everybody, welcome back to Welch's Math Class. We're so glad to see you. I'm glad you came to see me about getting a little help on this uh, percentage problem. We're in Module 6 talking about percentages. Went to some real world application stuff here, uh, particularly talking about commission. Remember, uh, commission is when someone gets paid based on how much they sold. They get to keep part of what they sold. Um, so if you were a car salesman and you sold a $10,000 car, and you got to keep a percentage of that money for the sale, let's say you got to keep uh, 20%, that would never happen, but let's just say you had to keep, you got to keep 20% of the $10,000 car, you would get the, your commission would be $2,000. You'd get to keep a, a piece or a part of your sales, okay? And so I want to show you today how to work out commission uh, and how to calculate commission um, based on the proportion method. Okay, we've got an equation method we could use also, but I just want to lock into the proportion method. That's my favorite method. I think it uh, it's definitely simplifies things a little bit. And so in our information here, uh, our salesperson has $7,500 in sales. Uh, their commission rate or percent is 4.3%. Not a real high percentage, but this, this is their percentage of commission uh, that they make on on their sales and we want to know how much money should they make what should their actual dollar amount of commission be so the model we're going to use we're going to set up a proportion okay and and so we're going to start that proportion with percent over a hundred percent over a hundred over here our top amount will actually be our commission this is the this is what we're going to be looking for in this problem in other words how much the person's going to make for selling uh, what they sold and then down here are their sales all right, so we're going to take that model, we're going to use that model in this problem. So here we go. Here's 100 right here, automatic. My commission rate or my percent is 4.3. Now notice we don't have to move the decimal here. We can just put the 4.3 straight in exactly the way it is. All right, and then our sales on this case, the, the person sold $7,500. Uh, worth of goods, whatever those goods might be. So now we're trying to figure out, gosh, how much commission will they earn for that? Well, let me find my antique calculator and see what we can do with this. So you remember a proportion model, how we solved that. We're going to cross multiply. Uh, so I will cross multiply 7500, 7500, and I'm going to multiply that times 4.3. and hit my equals button. Then I'm going to come right behind that and divide that answer by 100. Okay, so what I'm getting is 322.5. Now remember, this 322.5 is actually money. It's a dollar amount. So as a real dollar amount, this is $322 and 50 cents. Okay, that was $7,500 right there. So the person who's, who has $7,500 in sales, working on a 4.3% commission, is going to be paid $322.50 uh, for those sales or get to keep that part of what they sold. All right, I hope that's helpful to you. Go back and practice a little bit um, using this model. Uh, in the practice problem you're on, use a similar exercise button. That'll help you to practice several examples to kind of get you a good feel for what's happening there. And I'll see you next time.